What do you need to equip an office? Desks, chairs, stationery? Go to Hammond Sewell in Armada Way. They specialise in modern office equipment from boardroom tables to paper clips. Call on Hammond Sewell to outfit your new office or modernise the old one. Hammond Sewell, Armada Way, Plymouth. I see you don't have the same trouble with your suits as I do. No, I get mine from John, and for only thirty-nine ninety-five. John? Yes, John in Drake Circus. Terrific. Warren Brothers of Plimstock are your unipart dealers in this area. No matter what model British car you have, they'll supply you with the unipart you need. Warren Brothers to be found just off the Broadway at Plimstock. Open Monday to Saturday from 8am to 6pm. And you can pick up an entry form for the great unipart filter competition. Not only do you have a chance to win the British Leyland car of your choice, you'll also have one of the finest makes of engine filter on the market fitted to your car. Pick up your entry form from your unipart dealer today. Warren Brothers, just off the Broadway at Plimstock. Well, here you have it. You have uh, local radio uh, in operation. We have a flash for you. One of the Tor Point ferries is not in operation this morning, and serious traffic hold-ups are likely. We'll bring you more details as soon as we get them. The time now is coming up to three minutes to seven o'clock, and I think we'll travel along now with the uh, Ray Markin Orchestra and Vamos Amigos. Boom, boom, boom. That was the orchestra of Ray Martin and the happy Mexican number, Vamos Amigos Mitch's Hardy Own Friends. Plymouth Sound News on the hour. Good morning. It's 7 o'clock, 43 degrees Fahrenheit, 6 centigrade and sunny. David Bassett reporting. Liberal leader Jeremy Thorpe is to complain to the Director General of the BBC today about their common market coverage in Plymouth. 
He claims that the BBC's decision not to cover a meeting involving common market negotiator Mr. Geoffrey Rippon and Attorney General Mr. Sam Silkin in Plymouth at the weekend made BBC coverage unbalanced. Westwood Television also decided not to cover the rally. Ian Hurrell of Plymouth Sound News asked Mr. Thorpe why he was so angry. There was nobody there. And that uh, uh, the anti-marketeers were covered on BBC Television News, certainly BBC Two when I saw it, and there was nothing on for the pro-marketeers at all. I think if you have the, um, uh, the Attorney General and the um, um, Jeffrey, Jeffrey, Howe, who asked, Jeffrey Rippon, who after all was the minister responsible for negotiating it, oh. and did not lead the visible party, in the, uh, I would have thought that um, it should have had at least as much coverage live by television as Mr Enoch Powell, who speaks for no one but himself. A massive police hunt in Devon at the weekend after raiders had tied and gagged a property owner and beat his wife at their home at Coffinswell, near Totnes. One of the two masked men dragged Mr John King, aged 42, from bed, forced him downstairs and tied him up. Malcolm Carroll of Plymouth Sound News asked him what happened next. He then um, started threatening me, uh, and then after, he then went upstairs and attacked, um, attacked my wife uh, and beat her about the face quite badly and on her shoulders, and she's got a black eye, well, a swollen eye at the time, a, a swollen nose, a swollen face, her lips were um, very badly swollen, and a, a large lump on the side of her head, and bruises on her upper part of her body on her chest. The couple's 10-year-old son, Terry, was in the bedroom as Mr King's 32-year wife, Patricia, was systematically beaten. Mrs King was treated in Torbay Hospital. The thieves got away with cash and jewellery. Police later issued a description of the men. One is about five feet ten tall, average build and aged about 30. He talks with a Midlands or Northern accent and has a Bethlehem star tattoo in red and blue on his left forearm. The other man is aged about 20 and slimly built. And police have denied a report that they are providing escorts for continental egg lorries leaving Plymouth's Mill Bay docks. A Sunday newspaper claimed that the escorts had been introduced to prevent a repetition of an incident two weeks ago when a French lorry was chased for 50 miles out of Plymouth before being stopped by a mob of farmers who smashed its load. Ian Hurrell asked Inspector Desmond Rogers what the situation was. They are not being escorted as such. So that is a definite quote. They are not being escorted as such. But... We, when we know that they are coming to us, we will let the patrols know that the, uh, they will be traveling along their route, and if all they do is they just see them, and having seen them, they, they can see that everything is okay. On the other hand, if they are traveling along their route, keep an eye open this for them, and they see them stopped alongside the road, surrounded by farmers again, for example, well then quite obviously they would uh, deal with the incident. The £150 million modernisation scheme at Devonport Dockyard will make the base strike-proof. The new atomic submarine base won't be put out of action if strikes or sabotage cut power supplies. The Whitehall decision to give the base its own power supply is thought to highlight government fears that Moscow could use industrial action as a weapon at times of tension. The Bishop of Truro, the Right Reverend Graham Leonard, has given limited support to exorcism, but he has slammed the press for publicising the controversy.